can this possibly be the best and the most affordable cinema lens ever made? Let's find out right after this intro. Hey guys, I'm Gabby, you're watching Ray Studios, and on this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Vision Cinema Lens from Seven Artisans. First, let's do a quick unboxing. It came in this really nice black box. As soon as we open it, we can see there are a few screws that can be mounted in this lens. We also have the instruction manual that comes in both English and Chinese, and I access the other compartment, you can see how nicely packed this is. There is a lot of protection, also comes wrapped in this plastic bag to avoid moist and dust. And as you can see, this is a sight to be seen. Look at this, it's all metal with a metal cap. You can see how the front element is pretty damn big, as it is to be expected with a cinema lens, but it's also a little bit recessed inside the lens. We have two rings here, one for focus and one for aperture. Now, let's quickly take a look at the mount, which obviously is metal metal. This lens is all metal metal and is very well put together, built like a little tank. The focus ring have a pretty long distance to travel as it's very common with cinema lenses. And the aperture ring has no clicks to it, like it's very common for video lenses. Here, now we can see the aperture blades are nicely rounded. Let me mount this on my Canon EOS R10 to see how it looks and feel on an APS-C camera. As you can appreciate, it looks really nice on my Canon EOS R10. It has very good balance since this lens is really not too heavy. For a cinema lens, neither is too big. This is an RF mount. It comes available in white a few different mounts, so make sure to get the right one for your camera. We have an 82 millimeter filter thread at the front, so a slightly bigger filter, something to keep in mind when buying this lens. Another thing to keep in mind with this lens is that there isn't any stabilization or autofocus. It is a cinema lens, so if you are new to this market of shooting with cinema lenses, there are quite a few things that you need to consider. You will have to focus fully manual, you have to adjust your aperture fully manual, and there is no stabilization whatsoever, so you have to have very steady hands or mounted on a tripod. Another thing I will highly recommend is to get a cage. I have the small rig cage for the Canon EOS R10 that is actually really good. It gives me a couple of extra course mounts and give my camera a lot of protections. Review on this one coming up very soon. So, how is the image quality coming out of this lens? To be perfectly honest, it is pretty damn amazing. Normally, when I test lenses, I like to test them with pictures because with the still images, you're actually pushing the whole resolution of the camera. So even so, this is a cinema lens, so it's focused on video. And most of the testing that I have done for this lens is with video. I did also test it with still images. Now, this is an entirely new redesigned lens, which means it's not like a old photography lens that been recased and make into a cinema lens. A 50 millimeter is more or less a 70 or 75 millimeters when you apply the crop factor. So it gives you a lot of emphasis in your subject and does a little bit of compression to your backgrounds, emphasizing even more on your subject and the T1.05 means that you're gonna get beautiful bokeh and excellent low light performance. The sharpness on this lens is absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, I believe it's just too sharp. I don't like lenses that are so sharp for video, but well, it is something that most people actually do like. So I guess if you're looking for a very sharp lens, this is it. Even at T1.05, this is when it's supposed to be soft in the center is razor sharp and in the corners it still hold up pretty good resolution when you stop it down why well, that one it becomes incredibly sharp edge to edge so you need to stop it down to something like i would say t 2.8 and it's incredibly sharp no matter where you look at it contrast is also pretty phenomenal especially for being a lens that opens so wide i also haven't seen much flaring i didn't Properly try to push light into the, the lens to see how the flares go, but I did use it quite a lot and I haven't experienced any nasty flaring when using this lens. The bokeh rendition, that's probably one of the best qualities on this lens. It's just 
unbelievable. Maybe one of the best bokeh renditions I have seen on any lens ever. It's just creamy goodness all around. It resolves the backgrounds. No matter how busy they are, it resolves them very smoothly. And it deals with lights and bokeh balls very, very good. This is a lens that comes very highly recommended. It is very possible that I'm gonna start using this lens a lot for quite a few of my future projects, um, even present projects, because I'm shooting a commercial right now for a restaurant, and I will most likely use in this lens for some shots, as I'm actually really impressed with the quality of it. And um, when shooting products, that's when you want sharpness. So I'm gonna be shooting food and some products in a restaurant, so sharp, that means good. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video somehow, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and make sure to click that little bell so you get notified with future videos. And if you wanna purchase this lens, as usual, links in the description down below. All right, guys, this is it. Adios, amigos.